Good morning. Welcome in here from coming to you from Canada. Cold again, but it was warmer yesterday and uh, it should warm up today. So tell me all how you're doing. We're going to start something new here. We're going to be doing uh, the case of the day and uh, card of the day just for quick card readings in the morning with my coffee and uh, just a little message to help you get through the day. And then we're going to work a case of the day. And we're going to work a case of the day until a case really grips us, you know. Um, so, and I want to start sending a little bit of love and prayers at the end of the case of the day to help, um, you know, send some light and love to the missing person. But I wanted to also comment on yesterday, if you will. My apologies. I forgot to timestamp the video. I brought my pen and my paper and yours truly I have to talk to you about honestly because I left I brought my pen and left the paper on the counter to write so I could timestamp this today. So yours truly just I've always had a bad memory never really a lot of childhood memories except horrible ones which is trauma but with my dad having dementia it's obviously a concern for me. So <clears throat> one of the reasons I'm writing and, and trying to read more is for that for that reason but anyway so my apologies that I forgot to timestamp so I woke up this morning going oh my god I forgot to timestamp yesterday's video and I promised them I would and then <laughs> I can't find the paper I wrote it on so my kids laugh at me but yours truly loses things around the house all the time my phone my pendulum, my car keys, the remote control, my earbuds, you know, things that I use, pen and paper. And I laugh with my kids and I'm like, I should invite or invent rather, create a woman's tool belt that's sexy, like, you know, that's like, like the men, they carry their tool belts, you know, with their hammer and their everything. But we need a women's version that's beautiful and sexy or even maybe a shirt with a bunch of pockets in it so we can hide the things that we lose around the house on a daily. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Is that a crazy, crazy idea or what? So, yeah, yours truly, my apologies. I will do the best I can to timestamp this. So I thought, oh, and by the way, you're a whole bunch of lovely I need to write things down or I don't remember them. So I should tell you a funny story because this came from my assistant back in the day when I was in real estate. You're a whole lot of lovely. And I've got paper, like sticky notes, because I, I have to write things down. It's been like that my whole life to, to retain it. And it's just as I age, it's getting worse and I lose things, hence the belt idea. But anyway, I have to tell you a funny story and then we'll get on with today's reading. I'll explain to you what we're doing a new little bit, something a little bit new for a little bit here. We'll see how it goes. But... Uh, she got me this year a lot of lovely, but she, back in the day when I used to have a Blackberry, I don't know if you remember Blackberries, but I used to have a Blackberry and <clears throat> I like the Blackberry, but the Blackberry would, when you got a message on Facebook, it would send you like a text. And because I have so much, especially in real estate, I had so many things on my brain, I'd be stopped at a traffic light and I'd be like, oh, I have to do this for this listing and this and this and this. And so I would write on the text when I would get a Facebook I would reply to just and not send it just to myself to keep this ongoing list of things to remember like she used to be like Leanne I love you but I'm in sticky note h-e-l-l -L, because I'd have like notes everywhere like literally like everywhere tell my kid like you could ask my kids I would write on napkins you know just I had to jot things down to remember so then I come into the office with my assistant and give her, here, here's this stack of sticky notes. <laughs> Figure out what's what's written there, what you need to do. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm in sticky note hell. But then one day on the Blackberry, I have to tell you this because it's a funny story. <clears throat> on the Blackberry, so I'm writing down my to-do response, like I'm at the light and I'm writing down my to-do list on my Blackberry Facebook post. And I guess I pocket pocketed my phone pocket dialed but pocket sent my Facebook message so my assistant calls me she's like she's to call me lovey lovey what are you up to what where are you and I was taking the dogs I had two golden doodles tiny doodles that were litter mates and I was taking them for a walk at the time I said I'm I'm just out in the field walking Tucker and Tanner what's going on honey she goes well 
Lovey, um, you just posted your to-do list to Facebook, and the first thing is buy tampons. Um, do you want me to remove that? <laughs> like, yes, and that's the day my assistant got the password to my Facebook profile. So anyway, tell me below, do you have the same problems, losing things in the house and having to write things down, remember, but you are a whole lot of lovely, I wanted to tell you. So, quickly now. I just thought for something different, for now, just go on with the flow. We'll see what happens. I'm going to do a daily pick a card for some of you that got back to me yesterday and said that the readings were really, really helpful and resonated. I appreciate that feedback. What I thought we would do is just a daily uh, reading just to give you, you know, what do you need to work on today? One card. So I'm going to change the uh, scene here. And we'll give you a one card option and you'll just pick the card on the table. There'll be a pile of three cards. You'll just pick the card that you feel connected to. And uh, I'm just going to read your daily message on what you need to focus on today. Um, you know, what the challenge is of the day or what you need to focus on. So how your day is going to go. Just a quick little message. And we're also going to start the case of the day. Because um, here's the thing. I love being in the community with you all. I just need to work on things that I find that are helpful and not so heavy for my own well-being. And while I really, really hope and pray Sebastian's found and there's justice for Jay, there's other people that are missing. So I'm going to do a case of the day until one kind of sticks or grips the community. And then we just work that one in more detail, if you will. But um, And then we'll send some prayers out at the end of those case of the days to um, get some light and love going for the missing person and their family. So hopefully you're on board with that. And I'm really thinking of doing, I, I'm so busy that I really, uh, not sure yet, but I'm thinking of going, doing some more court cases. Cause man, I loved that. And then of course we're still going to do cases. So don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm writing my book. I'm doing just lots going on. And right now I just, been asked to follow my heart and my passion and in the moment I'm just wanting to do um, some little bit of things that I feel like I can help people with if you will so um, <clears throat> so that's what we're doing so hang in there I'm gonna move the camera now and you'll pick one of the three cards that you feel and if you feel like more than one resonates then go for it and I'm just gonna get you your message for the day It'll be for today since it's Friday and over the weekend. And then on Monday through Friday next week, we'll give you the same ones. And then on Friday, it'll be sort of going into the weekend, what to pay attention to. Okay. So hopefully you like this format. Hopefully you get something out of it. It will be quick. I'm not going to introduce it like I am here. It'll be much quicker. It'll be, you know, two or three minutes per card. So it's like drinking your coffee. What do I need to focus on for the day kind of thing? Okay. Hopefully you get some joy out of this. Hopefully it is helpful. And, um, Again, stay tuned for the case of the day coming out later today. <clears throat> Jason, I forget his last name. I posted it on the post. And then Ren asked for something different uh, for another um, Aiden. And I will do that next week. And um, we'll just keep doing cases for the day. I know over the year, or years, over the months, there's been a lot of recommendations on my posts. And I have written them somewhere and kept track somewhere. But I honestly... Um, don't know where that paper is. True story. So um, I've been trying to go to my off paper for a while. And then once in a while I slip back into the habit of paper. So I've been trying to do off paper. So it's all on my laptop. But feel free to ask for cases that you want me to work on for the case of the day. Okay? Love and light. Enjoy. See you. Uh, today's Friday. So we'll see you for the case of the day. And I might just throw something out and do a live um card pull for you too who knows we're uh, we're just running with what we feel in the moment right now court cases true crime for sure and helping our spiritual community love and light okay so now it's time i'm just gonna shuffle i'm gonna let you pick your cards just gonna let three cards fly out on spirit what message does Whoever's watching this, what messages need to be heard? One, two, last one, three. Okay. So, let's go. Decide. Whoa. 
<laughs> my cards are falling down. <laughs> Decide, if you will. <clears throat> Jeez, Leanne. I'm going to have to get more organized for these pick ones. Pick ones. Pick piles. Decide. And it's hard to see the weight on the weight. I don't know why my camera is so blurry today. What is going on? What is going on? Interesting. I'm not sure, guys and gals, what is going on. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Camera was being funky, wasn't it? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So have a look which ones are speaking to you and uh, which pile rather. And if more than one, that's totally fine. And uh, let's get to uh, it. You can pause this now and I'm going to start with your first, the first card. Okay, first card up, <clears throat> King of Cups. King of Cups. So you might be feeling emotional. You might be feeling ungrounded today. You might be really, really just feeling like you want to just bury your head, stay in bed. And um, a lot of emotions are, sur are, are, are surfacing. And so the message is, I think you just stay away from people, places, and things that will trigger you. Do the best you can to stay grounded. Do some meditation. Um, try to just recognize that this is just the de next couple of days. The movement, the emotions will move through you. But, uh, you know, you know, just stay uh, in retreat and away from triggering people, places, and things as best you can. Um, and you will get through the next few days. That's the simplest <laughs> message that I'm getting. Card two, Ace of Swords. You're going to get some clarity about a new direction or somewhere that you're going right now, an idea, a thought, you're going to somehow get some clarity uh, for that you've been asking for. You've been wanting for an answer. You're going to be thinking really clearly. You're going to be communicating really well. You've like on point with something you've been contemplating and debating for a while now. And the answers are going to come to you uh, over the next couple of days. Okay, let's get card three in reverse. Things are not moving quickly right now in your life. <clears throat> You're being asked <clears throat> to surrender, to let the universe guide you and trust and just go with the flow. This is when fast moving energy comes in. It's my communication card too. So you might be waiting for communication that's not arriving yet. You might be waiting to hear news. You're like in this pause mode where you feel things, you, you're either waiting or you feel like communication's not great right now or things are stuck and stagnant. And the next few days, you might find it hard to relax the next couple days. And Spirit's just saying that you trust, trust this communication that is either not happening or kind of chaotic will calm down, you will hear, but just you're just being asked to trust you're being protected. You're being held by all these umbrellas. You're being lifted up, but it's about just recognizing um, that there is some great things that can happen in the pause when you just stop expecting and pushing and just relax into the unknown. Okay, y'all. Y'all, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, we will see you. Uh, let me know if you want more of this. And if so, we'll just keep doing these daily messages that are nice and quick. It won't be nearly as long as today. Probably the whole video will be five minutes. <laughs> One minute per card kind of thing. Let me know what you think. Okay, love and light. Hope this helped. And stay tuned for the K2 